In this video, I'm going to take students through now how to add an external audio file into your Audacity project. In a previous video, I demoed how you can actually just do a live recording directly into Audacity. However, what if you want to add background music, sound effects, etc.? The first step is actually finding the content that you'd like to work with. One website that I always point to at this point is what is called pixabay.com. Pixabay.com used to just deal in images, but now you can search for all sorts of different elements. You can actually see here, down along kind of the mid-level of the page here, not only do you have things such as photos and illustrations, you also have video clips, music, and sound effects. So I can actually click for music, for instance, you can see the site changes, and I now am able to preview and download specific files that I'd like to work with. So actually, before we do anything else, I'm going to jump into Audacity and get that open. Say OK. Yes, welcome to Audacity. And I'm going to open the previous project that I was working on. So when I go to File Open, notice it actually remembers the last project I was working on, and you can see the two items here. Remember, you have the published file, but then you also have the actual working project that has the little Audacity icon. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. So from the previous recording here, you can see that I still have that audio clip here. What I'm actually going to do here is right at the top here, there's a little menu drop down. Mine in this case says audio one. I'm going to click on this drop down real quick and go to name. And I'm going to call this maybe talking. It's a good idea for your audio clips uh, to name your audio clips, maybe descriptive names, just so you can keep track of what you're working with. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to jump back into uh, Pixabay here. So I have a lot of different videos that I can work, or I'm sorry, a lot of different audio clips that I can work with here. And so um, this is actually just to point out for a lot of students uh, what people don't realize is this can actually be a very time consuming part of creating audio pieces such as interviews or podcasts because of the fact that you actually do have to sit down and listen to the audio. So picking out a song, for instance, you're going to be sitting there. You can see as far as the times go, some of these songs are, you know, four minutes long. Now, yes, we do have the capabilities that we can cut, you know, things like that, but you still got to listen to them. Now, you do not need to make an account for Pixabay if you don't want to. Oftentimes here, I'll grab this first one here by Penguin Music, and I'll go ahead and say download. Notice that it downloads right away. Age old though, because this is Creative Commons, it asks, you know, hey, do you want to, you know, donate? Also, it makes a note as far as uh, the user is concerned or the designer. You can actually hire them if you so choose. Now, one thing that I normally do here is I jump right in to my downloads folder. I find the file that I just downloaded, I cut, and I want to get it into that Audacity project folder just so everything is located in the same space. So what I've done here is now not only do I have that working project file, we now have that additional audio file that we just downloaded that we can work with couple of things that you can do as far as pulling in, for instance, under your file drop down menu in Audacity, we do have an import option where you could choose to import the audio. You can navigate to locate the audio in your project folder. So in my case, I could go to desktop, go to the Audacity project, and there's that Better Days audio. Another option too is since you can see I have kind of both my working folder open side by side with Audacity, I could just click drag and drop if I so chose. Up to you. Um, now notice here by default, we actually had some changes in the design and the view of our interface here. Because I now have a much longer audio piece, remember that Better Days song was at least a minute and 30 seconds. This is adjusting as far as with the audio, the talking audio here at the top. This was much shorter than, say, uh, the original song here. 
So you have now two different audio pieces that are inside your project. And as we continue on here, you can see that I can make a lot of different edits and set in and out points and those sorts of items here. As I'm lecturing here, you can see that but how we can get a little bit more control if you want to make edits in regards in relationship to the overall layout here. So for instance, if you don't want to have this starting point and also to just some basic fade in and fade out for the audio. So once again, some tips as far as downloading. Remember to download, immediately move that audio file, be it a sound effect, be it background music, directly into your project folder, wherever that's located. And then you can pull it in either by file, import, or you can just drag and drop if you have both simultaneously open. And last but by no means least, remember, this is the part of audio editing and audio work that can take time because, once again, you have to actually sit down and listen to the audio pieces.